नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम वेलकम टू आवर चैनल ए सी एस ट्रो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल लाइक टू थैंक ऑल पीपल बिकॉज नाउ वी आर वन स्टेप अहेड सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड फैमिली मेंबर्स ऑफ ए सी एस ट्रो थैंक यू टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ट्रांजिट यू कैन से ट्रांजिट बट इट इज एक्चुअली अ रेट्रोग्रेशन ऑफ मर्करी ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ अप्रैल एंड जस्ट आफ्टर वन डे जुपिटर इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रांजिट सो सो मेनी इवेंट्स इन दीज टू डेज but we are going to talk about mercury retrograde so what this mercury retrograde will effect on all 12 ascendants because this is very important planet according to lal kitab let's welcome akash chohan from calgary canada akash ji namaskar welcome uh, one second yes welcome thank you, thank you so much actually uh, uh, all people in comments daily said we wait for akash ji we wait for his stories oh how he do research from where he bring stories and i am sure for this very important retrogression you have one story yes so yes now that is the format of our uh, because i am taking predictions from i don't want to say the source but yes somewhere from rigved all the stories are available in rigved and okay uh, it is very very difficult to find stories but yes it is a story of how mercury became retrograde why he is retrograde and what happens when uh what happened when he became retrograde or maybe he followed someone without any without any advice and uh, rohit ji from bharani nakshatra he is going to be moving backward into ashwini nakshatra so we will talk about it but first let's talk about the story let's is, talk about the story and after that you will uh, tell about the all 12 ascendants what they will get after, from this retrogression right 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 here okay we go <clears throat> so you know there is a story of mercury and ashwini kumaras because here mercury is getting retrograde in bharani nakshatra and it will be going back into ashwini nakshatra mm hmm so you know according to mythology again there is a story where mercury and ashwini kumars who were divine twin brothers are considered and who are considered the physicians of gods so mercury was traveling straight and he was going and he saw uh, ashwini kumars passing riding along his way through their chariot he was so fascinated by their beauty grace that they had a very beautiful horse and they are on a good chariot so he said he they look so beautiful so why should i not follow them and see where they are going so he turns and he starts following them that's why that that means he turns into retrograde motion he turns backward and starts following them ashwini kumar were not pleased because they were going on a very important mission uh which was given to them by lord vishnu but you know it was very secret because they they are they are physicians who are who have lot of secretive knowledge and they told um, uh mercury that buddha don't follow us you know leave us alone you know you should not follow we are going somewhere but both refused to listen and he by you know he <laughs> went behind them in in disguise like very quietly ashwini kumar looked at each other and said you know what if he is not listening because always understand that buddh is a yuva planet it is a prince it is not of very very big age it is it was it is supposed to be very intelligent knowledgeable but yes it is yuva that means it is a uh it is a balak it is a boy it is not fully formed adult god okay so that's why you know how kids are we tell them don't do this and they don't listen so that is what happened but what ashwini kumar did they create and he was not that like, not like a very child but yes in his teens approaching his adulthood so what ashwini kumar they created illusion and because mercury you know that time he had uh, then all his uh, penance and he has got the vardan the boon of becoming a male planet okay because mercury was born a eunuch planet but then after lot of penance lord shiva gave him the blessings to be a male planet so here you know what happened rohit ji uh, they created a very beautiful woman ashwini kumar they created a beautiful woman and they said you know what uh, let let mercury fall in love with her let mercury have that feeling of lust in himself and you know they told mercury uh, they told buddha you know what you need to get married to her she is so beautiful and this and that and he agreed that oh yes yes why not she is so beautiful and um, understand one thing mercury has a very very deep connection with beauty 
so you know what happens whenever you have knowledge uh mercury is very very knowledgeful and mercury uh, is a very very good friend of venus you know why because of the beauty because of the beauty and luxury venus has so mercury also lo loves luxury and you know that's why it's it rules emerald emerald is symbol of beauty emerald you know emerald is worn by people who are of status so that is why mercury has uh, emerald as his stone <clears throat> now you know roji what happened so <laughs> he fell in love but then he realized that this is some there is some problem you know this girl is not real because he he was not able to do anything any physical activity with her or touch her or you know she, he he got he went crazy and he went to lord vishnu and asked them lord vishnu you know what happened um, i realized that they have uh, deceived they have deceived me and they uh, created illusion and they created a and and i got emotionally attached and i got married and now i am full of anger i want to take revenge he said no 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 you should go to lord shiva because lord shiva is the one who has the power to destroy illusions okay power to destroy illusions here and as as everyone has to go through even mercury had to pray he had to go into deep meditation and understand that you know lord shiva uh, he has to see he had to seek blessings from lord shiva but you know lord shiva appeared before him after uh, you know, going through his penance lord shiva said that yes he really needs something and lord shiva gave him the trick and the power to destroy illusions because he was fooled by ashwini kumars and it, it was not a problem see here uh, all the divine stories which we know which we know of is not any problem rohit ji it is the you know it is called the act of god or maybe the plan of god they want this to happen so that there is a learning and then a new thing can be invented okay that yes. is yes very right said uh, right rightly you said this thing that nothing is happened just because uh, it is a story you tell that everything is a act of god planned by him to make someone better or give more powers to him right, right. so roji ji here if we move forward then mercury again returned to ashwini kumaras to show his because you know he is a yuva planet he is a young planet he mm. does not have you know that ego and all that kind of stuff he went there to have fun again he went mm. there to ashwini kumaras and he said challenge you challenge ashwini kumaras that you create any other illusion i will see because he had blessings from lord shiva and he was mm. now with the power of destroying illusions uh they tried ashwini kumar tried the level best to create illusions illusions but no they couldn't and you know mercury could see through all of their illusions and that is when ashwini kumar impressed with mercury's power apologized and became very very loyal friends and mercury told them not to apologize because you know because of you because of this small act which i did or small uh, being in retrograde motion or being coming back to you where you were going where you, i was not supposed to i got this power of destroying illusions so what the story teach the story teaches that illusion can be decept deceptive and the true power lies in seeing through them okay it also highlights the importance of devotion and seeking guidance from divine to overcome obstacles in life even mercury being such a big planet or being you know son of uh, mata tara and having a very good status in uh, the nine planetary system you know there is the nav one of the nav graha but still you know he had to take guidance from the divine so that is what i say rohit ji here again to explain that even if you become billionaire millionaire trillionaire you will need guidance at some point of time with someone who is knowledgeable who is who has some kind of knowledge who has some kind of um, art to his form you will need their guidance because alone a human being cannot do anything it has to be always teamwork and guidance you know we go to school we start studying a b c d and then we start 1 2 3 4 that is the first step of life but later when we want to become an engineer there is a specific study then there is a but mm. sometimes roji sometimes there is there are barriers and for that barrier we need to seek the blessing of the divine or someone who's love mm. so that is why roji this story teaches I, i was so so impressed that that is why that is why if we see rohit ji uh, very specifically mercury brings people out of illusions as well 
तो वेन एवर राहु नाउ एस वी से एस वी आर टॉकिंग राइट नाउ राहु एंड मर्करी आर बोथ इन दिस जोन यू नो ऑफ साइन सेम साइन एंड एंड राहु इज द मोस्ट powerful planet to give you illusion it is called brahma yes 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 right? yes and mercury once it gets retrograde and again comes into ashwini nakshatra it will destroy all your illusions so that is what yes. this every um, what you say every planets every ascendants um, chart is based on this simple um, funda today yes moral of the story is that uh, whenever you move toward your target or uh, some student is moving towards studies or someone you will get illusions in your life but you have to just break that illusions and see the truth and move forward and that's what mercury is going uh, going to do now right right good okay yes. so so now it's a time for uh, all 12 ascendants to know what uh, what will happen with them yes roji ji okay let's start with the aries ascendant so on the 21st of april when mercury will be retrograde in aries sign and rahu is already there then what will happen let's see for the aries suraj so, mercury will be retrograde in aries from 21st of april one day before jupiter enters this house yes yes it yes will start its retrograde motion and it will be here till 15th of may So Rohit ji here Mercury will enters Bharni Nakshatra on the 8th of April. Okay, it is already in Bharni Nakshatra and Mercury retrogrades on 21st of April in Aries. From Bharni it starts traveling towards Ashwini Nakshatra. Mercury will enter Ashwini Nakshatra on 8th of May. So not on 21st of April. 21st of April it will start moving backwards. Okay, but on 8th of May it will enter Ashwini Nakshatra. And again on 15th of May it is a very it. it 15th of may it will start uh, moving again from ashwini nakshatra to bharani nakshatra so it's a very important thing we have to remember here that first house is the house of self so lot of illusions related to your self related to your uh, personality that we think that we are very over smart we think that we are the the person who no one can defeat we are the person who who are like the best or uh, such kind of illusions which we have in our mind the negative illusions are going to be ward off mercury will destroy all of these it will give you self realization during this time mercury in the house of mars and mars now actually is in rashi parivartana with mercury's mercury you know that means it will give you and it this is a time when mercury here the power in ashwini nakshatra which it has to destroy your illusion is that to destroy your illusion about your health as well that you know i am well nothing happens to me i can take 10 drinks i can have chicken i can have mutton no problem nothing happens but then it will make you realize that no the doctors does not say the same thing the reports are bad so you will come out of that illusion that my health is not nothing will happen to me or i am invincible you will come to a self realization here where you will realize that no i am responsible for my own health from my self awareness so that is what rohit ji for aries ascendant people mercury retrograde from 21st of april till 15th of may will do it can play with lot of mind it can play with lot of decision making power will be little bit you know compromised here so if you have to take some very big decisions from 21st of april to 15th of may uh you should take it after 8th of may that is when the when it will be in bharni nakshatra so that means there will be no illusion or not no bad thing that can happen to you during this time so thank you akash ji this is for all about aries but i will like to say so many events happening 20th april solar eclipse then this 21 mercury retrograde 22 jupiter will change so many videos available on ac astro to guide you further but i will request you to please be a part of our family if you are new to the channel watching first time please join acs to please subscribe us and the people who want a personal consultation that's very easy lots of comments i daily see they want a personal consultation just drop your details on the acs to channel mail id given below or on the whatsapp number you will be contacted by team and you will get a video consultation with akash ji now moving on further to the taurus ascendant what this Mer mercury retrogression on 21st April twenty twenty three bring for Taurus ascendant people. Let's see. <clears throat> so again, uh, Rohit, for Mercury retrograde that is going to be happening in Aries. 
on 21st of April to 15th of May. Mercury will enter Bharni Nakshatra on 8th of April. It will get retrograde on 21st of April onwards. And uh, Mercury enters. Uh, so right now, as we are seeing, as we are talking and seeing the video, Mercury is in Bharni Nakshatra. Okay, and hmm. in in direct position, it will hmm. get retrograde on 21st of April till 15th of May. And on right. 8th of May, Mercury will enter into Ashwini Nakshatra. So you are Roji, the 12th house again. All the people who are watching, thank you so much for subscribing our channel. And I would also request you to go in the beginning of the video to understand the story behind how Mercury will destroy illusion during this time. So, Luigi, here in the 12th house, the illusion, the biggest illusion of our life. What is the biggest illusion? That we are going to be living for 500 years. It's oh. the biggest illusion of our life. We plan things for 10 years later. We will do this tomorrow. We will do this later. So yes, that's yes. the biggest illusion in our life. Here Mercury will make sure that it gives you that kind of experience that that illusion ends forever. And you know why I'm saying? Because after 12 years, Jupiter is going to be entering into this house. And during Jupiter being there, the planet of wisdom, and Mercury, the planet of knowledge, Rahu, the planet of illusion, Sun, mm. the planet of soul, Everyone mm. is here. So, you know, this is a very, very rare combination that is going to happen. Mm -hmm. okay. And Mercury going towards Jupiter and Jupiter entering into Ashwini Nakshatra. It's going to be very, very good. Now, Ruiji here, the illusion, the main illusion, the main problem related to losses. You will understand that everything is temporary in this universe. Everything. We come, we do our karma and we go. Again, okay. we come. Rebirth, life, rebirth, life, rebirth, life, rebirth. This is what is the rule of the law of uh, God. But yes. the the moksha or the salvation is in the hands of us. If we do good karma, we directly go away from this world and do not take rebirth and get what we are doing right now, suffering. We do not get any kind of suffering. Our soul is free then. But right now our soul is trapped in this body in this body form. And this is what Mercury in the 12th house is going to explain to you. That everything you will feel, you will have a feeling in your mind, 100% yes. that, you know, everything is very superficial. I should be spiritual. I should be getting into the divine. Any God you believe. May it be Allah, may it be Jesus, may it be Ram, may it be Guru Nanak, may it be any Zeus, may it be any kind of God from any religion. Okay. Here, it means that you have re being religious and being spiritual are two very complete different things. In yes. this, Mercury demands you to be spiritual. Spiritual it demands you that get illusion out of your mind that I will do this tomorrow. I will start Hanuman Chalisa from tomorrow. I will start Namaz from tomorrow. I will go to church from tomorrow or from Monday. I will go to gym from Monday. No, it means. It, re it will make you realize that no, now is the time, right now. As we get aware of it, that is the time for you to get into spiritual zone. And that is how Mercury will be supporting you during this time. Because it is when it is retrograde, it is a difficult time for communication. Mostly the planet of communication. So anything related to 12th house, that is, again, uh, court cases, your hospitals, your jail, your foreign travel, you have a visa interview, such kind of things. So communication can be a can be a problem. So if you can book your visa interview after 8th of May or after 15th of May, it's going to be very, very good. So okay. I hope that this uh, Mercury transit gives you a lot of good success as well as make you very, very spiritual and get you out of the illusion that life is forever. It is not. Life is supposed to end. The karmas we do are forever. Ji. Karmas we do is forever. So this is all about the Taurus Ascendant people. What you have to take care because very crucial house, 12th house, where this Mercury is going to retrograde from 21st of April. Thank you very much for becoming a family of uh, AC Astro because uh, we are growing fast just because of you. 16,000 now. It's counting more day by day. Please, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and become a family member of AC Astro. And if you want a personal consultation from Akash Ji, then it's very easy to get his wisdom. Just drop your details on AC Astro channel at gmail.com or on the WhatsApp number displayed. Then you will be contacted by the team and you will get the video consultation with Akash Ji. 
so moving on further gemini ascendant very important ascendant because mercury is a lord of this ascendant then what they will get house is very beautiful 11th house where this retrogression will happen but retrogression is there akash ji yes rohit ji for gemini ascendant a little bit of good news <laughs> so here rohit ji for gemini ascendant people mercury is the owner of the ascendant and from 21st of april till 15th of may mercury is going to be uh, getting retrograde that means it will start Uh, moving in the reverse position and mm. why that happens that is a very good story which i have said in the beginning you have to understand that once mm. you know the story then only you will be able to understand this other okay. than that i would like to thank everyone for uh, subscribing to us from commenting from uh, so many friends so many well wishers so many elder people so <laughs> many kids everyone who are loving our uh, channel thank you so much the main purpose of our channel is to give you some kind of knowledge and do at least 1% good for the universe yes so the mercury is retrograde and it will be retrograding on 21st of april in aries that is from bharani nakshatra where it is right now and where it came on 8th of april it will start traveling backwards in ashwini nakshatra and mercury will enter ashwini nakshatra on 8th of may very very auspicious day and mercury will start moving forward in aries again it will end the retrogression and move forward from 15th of may so it is uh, mercury gets retrograde quite a bit in a year i think 3 3 3 and a half time four times in a year mercury gets retrograde so in gemini ascendant it is getting retrograde in the 11th house 11th house the house of gains here you know i told the story and if you heard the story about illusion that how mercury has the power to break illusions here it also has the power to break lot of illusions for you and that illusion is developing your self strength you know if you are self doubting yourself that i cannot do it i couldn't do it i cannot make it i am not getting this job i am not getting the money i cannot make good money i cannot do this i cannot do that then this is the time then mercury will show you the right way the right path during this time and it's a very very divine combination when sun rahu and you know this uh, mercury is getting retrograde only one day after the eclipse okay we have to see everything has a very very divine plan by god mercury is here jupiter will be here sun will be here rahu is here saturn's niche drishti is also here and the planet of planet mercury the ascendant lord becomes retrograde here so everyone will be scared that oh my god that uh, my ascendant is getting retrograde but no we have to understand the vedic story it is not the first time mercury is retrograde in this house every time whenever it will be retrograde in this house or any time such kind of uh, things happen there will be lot of gains in terms of your illusions going away if you have uh, you know if you have the fear of not making money this is the time that fear will go if you have the fear of not being into social network or being social media or talking to other people and this and that this is the time when that thing also will go away and that illusion will break from your mind that no i cannot go i am not an outgoing person yes you will be outgoing person you will be doing good things you will be earning money during this time you will be getting gains you will be getting favors from the government during this time so very very good placement of uh, mercury being retrograde and all the four planets here will be supporting you for sure so, oh ah, very beautiful uh, explanation any remedies for them i think no uh, already no happening in very good place but uh, as akash ji told i was just imagining it was looking like a, some blockbuster movie aries name of the movie is aries because everything happening in aries rahu is there sun is exalted there jupiter will come there 22nd mercury is going retrograde there and the lord of aries in mercury's house and mercury is in aries house. and ketu is all ketu is also watching and shani is also saturn also watching so this is this looks like that aries is a center stage for april end and then may also so for the may uh, 2023 we are bringing prediction very soon in 2 3 days because may will be the now the center stage for all Thank you, Kaji, for this beautiful explanation. And I will like to request you to all please join our family, ACS Astro family, 
we are growing fast just because of you your comments are so lovable um, i can't explain my love for for all of you and the people who ask for the personal consultation just drop your details on the acastro channel at gmail.com or on the whatsapp number displayed you will be contacted by team and you get the video consultation one on one with akash very simple so let's move on further and now we reach the cancer ascendant again this retrogression of mercury will happen in 10th house what you will get what precaution you have to take let's see uh, ruji for uh, this is for cancer ascendant it is going to be in the 10th house everyone must be scared because you know jupiter is coming mm -hmm. here rahu is here and this and that so many things happening saturn leads this to here but uh, this mercury retrograde is going to be a little bit positive for you okay. now let's uh, uh, first of all thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of the family and it means it gives a lot lot of pleasure and motivation when i see that we are growing every day and uh, it also means that uh, i have to work more hard and to to run out to your expectations too that's what yesterday i asked you when you were um, uh, even searching for stories and preparing i say akash ji please uh, take rest you say no no rohit now you see our responsibilities increasing we are 16000 family members now i have to work for them so this is how you think and had soft okay, okay, because i think the life path which uh, i have chosen with you have chosen or we have chosen is to do jan kalyana that is With the, yeah, with the message of society with the message of vasudevam kutumbakam yes so uh, i hope that everyone someone can benefit from it we are not god neither we are we have even 1% of that in ourselves no no, no. so rohit ji yes uh, um, cancer ascendant before moving forward uh, make sure that you go in the beginning and listen to the story of mercury retrogradation and how with ashwini kumar they had the story where ashwini kumar put him into an illusion and then he had to do lot of penance and then mm. illusion and then it had the power mercury has the power to destroy illusions that is why it is the karaka it is the owner of knowledge you know what can destroy illusion only knowledge very very important thing to understand knowledge can only destroy illusion nothing mm -hmm. okay so if you see some uh, god man or some this tantric dying to do that he, he, in his hand he is taking out ashes and all so that is illusion okay but what is knowledge that you i know in science that this is the kind of uh, chemical when it reacts to your hand and this and then the powder comes so that is knowledge so illusion and knowledge anyways for cancer ascendant it is at 10th house so a very very bad illusion which you must be going through because of rahu here is that uh, you know i am going to be in trouble in my job they are going to be firing me i am going to be into lot of trouble uh, related to my status in the society how people will look at me if i don't have a job such kind of things will be destroyed no your job is safe nothing is going to happen to you in fact in this period the illusion of illusion that people have that oh i will not get a job at all man oh the market is so bad and so that illusion also will go away and you might find a job and then your 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 you know spiritual awareness will increase that how can it be happening that when mercury is retrograde i am getting some kind of good uh, response from job here uh, health wise you have to be careful little bit careful in in terms of your stomach related issues because again 10th house where rahu is sitting jupiter is sitting sun is sitting so this house is going to be a very very hot house you know very house of and saturn's niche drishti here so 10th house is going to be very very heavy house for you this time that means you will have sometimes some kind of lot of responsibilities over your shoulders mm. in, from your professional as well as from your father side or from your family side there is going to be yes. lot of pressure even social pressure of some way and that simple slow social pressure is if you are of the right age that social pressure will be marriage those people who say oh i don't want to get married and this and that no no i don't want to get married you know this is the fourth house from the seventh house that means the sukha from marriage is seen from the 10th house okay we have to remember mm -hmm. that every planet has a very very every house has a very very different kind of interpretation so seventh house till 
fourth house from the seventh house is happiness from marriage is seen from this house so if that is the illusion in your mind that i don't want to get married i am good single and i don't want to work or you know in this workplace no one respects me i have no value such kind of things then all that illusion is going to be destroyed it will be filled with knowledge you will take right decisions and good things are happening to you but if you want to sign any papers legal papers or anything you should avoid it till 15th of may so let mercury start moving forward and let the conjunction of jupiter or the degree of jupiter increase here so that it gives exactly 100% effects for this house yes okay. so that's what cancer ascendant will get once again i will thank you from core of my heart from all acs to team i will thank you all people to join our family and we are growing so fast just because of you if you are new to this channel you are watching video please join our family be a member of our family acs to please subscribe us and the people who want the personal consultation i repeat again because everyone is watching on ascendant only not all 12 ascendant so if you want a personal consultation just drop your details on the acs2 channel at gmail.com or on the whatsapp number displayed team will contact you and you will get a video consultation with akash ji now moving on further again very important sign leo sign i think leo are the um, luckiest people in this month or next because everything is happening in their bhagya sign the house of fortunes let's see what this mercury retrogradation will bring for them so ji mercury for leo ascendant uh, is going to be happening in the uh, ninth house and ninth house is the house of you know the houseful fortunes yes house houseful also jupiter sun mercury rahu then me second is watching oh, everything is here mm. so anyways the good news is that oh before that the good news is for us and for your our family that thank you for joining our channel and subscribing it it is a wonderful pleasure and uh, everyone who's watching right now listening to this i bow down to you and say thank you for help, supporting us you know this is i never thought uh, that i will be transiting tran having a transition from a media field to astrology field never rohit ji we never thought right never I mean, thought we, we both are from media field and we never think that but we think but when we started thinking about this i told akash uh, how we can do he say no problem my aim is now till i have a last breath i will serve the society with vedic astrology and sanatan and everything and uh, akash ji one thing i also like to tell you that you don't go through comments i go through comments lots of people whom we don't know they request people please share this video please uh, subscribe this channel uh, i one name i remember christina i don't know from which country and from different countries they do this thing that's what uh, means that really we are not getting subscribers we are getting family members this is the happiest thing right oh ji right and thank you so much everyone again from core of my heart and may god bless everyone So, Rohit ji, for Leo ascendant, uh, Mercury will enter uh, retrograde from 21st of April till 15th of May. Here, Mercury is going to be entering Bharni nakshatra on 8th of April. So, as we are talking right now, Mercury has already entered Bharni nakshatra, and uh, Mercury will enter Ashwini nakshatra on 8th of May. <coughs> Now, when Mercury is retrograde here, so again, uh, everyone who is watching uh, needs to go back and listen to the story in the beginning that why mm -hmm. and how Mercury will get you out of illusions. okay the story with ashwini kumar because you know i take out specific stories where the planet and the nakshatra is involved because there like we have uh, you know time when we know that this happened oh this he was elected this day today i have i happened to do do a meeting with this person and i learned this same way that during the time of gods each and every god had an experience with each other and multiple experiences and everything led to a moral and that model also i have explained in my story now roji here mercury uh, in the ninth house and this is the house of dharma it is the house of higher education or knowledge it is the house from where your destiny rises and uh, roji if we take this house in more detail it is the house of truth it is the house of principles it is the house of dreams it is the house of lottery it is the house of luck it is the house of a guru and so many things so it is so many things now house of father the blessing of father or the 
presence of father in your life till what time your father will be present what time of diseases your father can get this is that house as well okay so roj ji here uh, when mercury becomes uh, retrograde and it gets into ashwini nakshatra and goes into ashwini nakshatra it will again give back the lesson it le- lesson it learned and that is to bring you out of illusion so those people who are constantly lying those people who do not believe in principles in dreams in uh, hard work in guru in spirituality in dharma in education everything will be reversed for them here the energy a lot of energy present here jupiter's energy rahu's energy sun's energy and mercury being a powerful planet getting retrograde because if mercury is weak in the chart then you are destroyed because that is what your knowledge is your mind is your mind buddh buddhi why is it called buddhi right why is it the mind called buddhi because it is supposed to be knowledge the planet of knowledge and illusion who destroy knowledge so if i just disappear in front of you you will say oh wow what happened this that but you know this is just illusion no one can do that except lord hanuman but no one can do that now what happens when you say no 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 scientifically this is not possible there must be some kind of illusion which this person has put me upon so that illusion is destroyed by mercury okay. so ninth house all the illusions related to this house and all the people who did not believe in god or dharma or spirituality or gurus or this and that they will have a very divine experience during this time which will let them make them believe in god make them believe in learning make them believe that knowledge is money everyone rohit ji uh, when i do consultations everyone is after uh, money money you know my finance finance i want to be financially independent i want to be this i want to be that i want to be this but no one is ever asking you know i was thinking of reading atharva ved i was reading of reading upanishads upanishads i was thinking of reading uh, pahora shastra any any kind of book i was supposed to i was uh, want to read uh, you know business uh, and analytics book but no one wants to gain knowledge everyone wants to just make sure that they get money mm. <laughs> and that is not how life will work it will work for a few minutes two time and i am not saying money cannot buy happiness money buys everything okay if you want to take a paid consultation you'll have to pay money that is also going also going to get you that but yes money is going to get you happiness but overall whenever you go from this country go from this world only your good deeds are counted only your things related to what you have done or achieved in this life is counted rather than how much money if you die they will no one will say that oh you know this guy died and you know he had like 500000 crores uh, or 500000 dollars or 500 million dollars in his account they will say he was a good man he created this big company and 2000 people were working in that company so everyone's house is running very good person uh, he was rich but now he is gone but still he leaves behind a legacy of such a big uh, you know big dharma which he has done to the society so ji everyone should start focusing or the leo ascendant people should start focusing more on spiritual path not on material path material wealth is going to come it is kali yuga everyone is supposed to earn money but if you earn little bit divine grace of god then it's going to mm-hmm. be amazing then money yes okay it's time to move on from materialistic to spiritual path and this is very important for the leo ascendant people and uh, once again i will thank you all just because you all people have uh, just uh, done the miraculous thing magical thing we are now the family member of 16000 subscribers and i promised akash ji we will be 25 till april end and you can make it only possible so if you are new to the video new to the channel please subscribe us please join our family and those who want a personal consultations uh, just drop your details on the acsto channel at gmail.com or the whatsapp number displayed on the screen you will get the consultation and you will get a video consultation with akash ji so moving further now virgo ascendant again very important sign because mercury is lord of this ascendant and that is going to retrograde in very mysterious house eighth house what will happen with them let's see you yeah, are rohit ji here is the chart for virgo ascendant people thank you so much everyone who have subscribed to our channel and i would from deep of my heart i would like to congratulate everyone to come on a journey with us 
to learn divine knowledge as well as to understand the placement of your planets and the results of your planets according to your birth chart. Uh, again, thank you so much. Mercury is going to be retrograde from 21st of April to 15th of May for Virgo Ascendant. Mercury is the ruler of this house and when it goes in the 6th house, it is going in the house of enemy. Okay, Mercury is, is in the house of enemy for them and here it is a again 8th house, 7th house, 3rd house and 2nd house are called Maraka. Okay, and 2nd and 7th are the most Maraka houses. But here 8th house is also the house of sudden ups and downs. Yes. So here, Roiji, certain ups and downs can be possible. You know, uh, illusion. All the people who are in, under the illusion that uh, they are going to be uh, getting a lottery, they are going to be getting into a lot of benefits from the government, they are going to be doing a lot of gambling and get money. And uh, those people who are looking for uh, unethical ways to get a job, such kind of things will have a, people will have a very big revelation, very big, uh, you know, setback in their life. If they are going the wrong way. Because you know Mercury also went the wrong way. And for that you have to understand the story which I told in the beginning. If you don't hear that you will not understand what Mercury is going to do to you. Mercury also will do the same thing. If you go in the wrong way you will be in, in, under illusion and then you will have to suffer. Same way Mercury suffered. So during this time Mercury will retrograde on 21st of April in Bharani. From Bharani it will go to Ashwini Nakshatra and reach Ashwini Nakshatra on 8th of May. And from 8th of May till 15th of May, it will be in retrograde position. But from 15th of May, it will come into direct position. So after 8th of May, the Ashwini Nakshatra um, energy will be very, very active. Now, make sure that if you are honestly talk to yourself, that if you are supposedly cheating someone or supposedly making someone's life difficult, may you be a boss, may you be a person of uh, power, may you be a person of... Uh, you know, uh, some government uh, employee or something, or someone who has the power to decide other people's fate. If you are using, if you are using that power in bad place, understand that Saturn's the Nietzsche Drishti is on this house. Jupiter is in this house. Um, uh, what is it? Rahu is in this house. Sun is in this house. So there are a lot of planets in this house. So it will be a destruction for you. What Mercury here will do, Rohitji, is take out of illusion that. Easy money is not the e way out. Easy money is not the way out. Those people who are supposed to be getting into research kind of um, uh, places, for them it is very, very good because a lot of breakthrough can happen during this time. Some people, you know, uh, like there is no medicine for this disease. This, mm. this illusion will go away. <laughs> according to God, according to the creation, everything has an opposite uh, opposite uh, thing or opposite kind of uh, energy which can destroy this, the present energy. So if there is cancer, there is medicine for cancer. It is just a matter of time till we find it, right? Did we ever think, Roiji, that we will be clicking a button and the light will start? Oh, never, never. never. No one can think about it. It was there. It, illusion. Illusion was for us to be in darkness, but a person came with good mercury and said, no, no, no. Illusion has to end and we have to come into real world that we will have real bulbs which will uh, enlighten the house, which will put light in the house. So that kind of breakthrough in medical science can be possible from 21st of April till 15th of May. We might hear some good things. But okay. those people in power who are, uh, you know, you know, see, just, just imagine the, <coughs> the strength of Rahu. Rahu, if, if you see the world map, if this is the world's Kundli, and Rahu is right now sitting in the Lagna, that is the first house, okay, in the world, in Kalpurush Kundli. Mm. See the illusion it has created for powerful countries like America. What has happened? People have started saying that we will now be trading in our own currency and American dollar will fall like crazy. So America was in a lot of illusion from this year that he is invincible. No one can destroy America. No one can destroy the dollar, no one can destroy anything related to, uh, you know, uh, America being superpower and the cur global currency. But now people have said, no, we will use our currency. And, and because the world is digital, it doesn't even matter what currency you use. So, Ruiji, that is the kind of illusion which Virgo ascendant people will be coming out of. And it's a good placement, but you have to be a little bit careful related to your driving because 
uh, here you will be in daydreaming zone so accidents can happen so be careful about it uh, reciting ganesha mantra or ganesha stotram or ganesh aarti anything or taking the name of just one day shri ganesh jay ganesh shri ganesh jay ganesh that is also going to be very sufficient for you if you can if you can 11 pieces of durba on a wednesday in ganesh temple ganesh ji does not want your durba ganesh ji does not want you like he is not waiting for you to come and give durba when we give durba to him when we give you know what is durba it is three tentacles of a grass if you just write durba d u r a on google you will find durba grass what it is if you just can take 11 tentacles and give it or offer it to lord ganesha it shows that you are devoted you have come to ask something from lord ganesha you know when we go to a friend's house or think we take some sweets with us right so the friend does not friend it is not like a friend cannot afford the sweet or friend wants the sweet it is just a gesture of you showing that right, right right i like you and you know this is for your family it's a just a gesture yeah so so reji for virgo ascendant also as i said good but little bit careful in terms of sudden events right thank you very much for your divine knowledge and uh, i will thank you all for becoming a so big family just in 3 months 16000 family members of ac astro if you are new to the channel and uh, please subscribe our channel be a family member of ac astro and those who want a personal consultation that's also very easy just drop your details on the mail id given below or on the whatsapp number you will be contacted by team and you will get the video consultation with akash ji one on one now it's time for uh, libra if i am right and libra ascendant what they will get when mercury will be retrograde again in very important house seventh house house of partnerships why what they will get libra yes roji libra libra ascendant as kn rao sir used to say libra and venus he used to not say venus he used to say venus venus <laughs> he's uh, He is not well now, but yes, and he is very old. We pray for him. Pray for him. Also, thank you for everyone, everyone in our uh, on our channel who has subscribed to us, and right now who are watching and they are subscribing. Just hitting the button, subscribe button. Thank you so much for your love and affection, and that is what is was motivating us to make videos. I was the most camera shy person in the world. Hmm. I could have, I don't even take photographs, but now I'm making videos. In fact, um, I have taken or shot with biggest of the celebrities you can even not even imagine. And I've been a director. I used to say action, and they used to act. But the thing is that I was so camera shy that never ever came in front of it. But see, now here I am. Now uh, Aries, uh, Libra, Libra ascendant people, twenty first of April to fifteenth of May. it is going to be mercury is going to be retrograde and mercury starts moving backwards from bharani nakshatra which it went into on 8th of april roji ji and it will be coming back and entering from 8th of may to again ashwini nakshatra and from 15th of may it will start uh, again going forward so the retrograde period is from 21st of april to 15th of may it is not a period of any kind of threat or any kind of problem that's why there is no threat at all it is the point of it is the point where mercury will bring you out of illusion in some way or the other now roji ji also all the people who are listening right now they have to first go and understand the story which i have said in the beginning because that will make you you know more uh, aware about what mercury is going to do so your 7th house is so so active right now so so busy right now it has jupiter it has rahu it has surya it has mercury all the four planets here after 22nd of april and uh, it is going to be a very challenging period for the 7th house but mercury the karak of knowledge the karaka or the person or the planet who has the power to break illusions is going to be in the 7th house so lot of problems that are that happens from 7th house that is making assumptions about our wife or about our husband that they are into bad company they are into this they are into that they must be cheating on me they must be doing this and that a lot of uh, illusion that i cannot buy a house i cannot buy a property i cannot buy a uh, i cannot travel you know i don't have the 
I don't have any luck. Like some people message me on WhatsApp, Ruiz, saying that we went on the live uh, stream, but I think uh, sir, our luck is so bad that we couldn't get there, get in. Hmm. So I'm like, you have made it. You have invited it yourself, saying it to the universe. Well, who knows that next first time, next time I start the live and I'm going to taking taking yours. But Ruiji, yes. Here. Uh, the illusion that is created that is the illusions of relationships the illusions of partnerships the illusion that my business partner is a cheat or my business partner must be cheating you know every that kind of assumption will be destroyed during this time you will have a very peaceful harmonious relationship with your marriage or with your business partners because we have to understand jupiter is going to be sitting in the 7th house when jupiter is here it is going to protect you from all the evil eye of saturn mm. sun sun is also an aggressive planet it tends to give you divorce okay in the 7th house if it is sitting in a malefic house or it is sitting with a malefic or if it is sitting with Ma mars uh, mars basically mars also is a, not a benefic planet it's a malefic planet it has lot of anger issues, Mars. So that kind of problem uh, can be created. But Mercury's wisdom and taking you out of illusion will help you during this period. And uh, overall, 100% very, very good. But little bit of uh, careful related to your stomach and actually your bladder, kidney, bladder, your anus, your... Um, uh, piles kind of problem you have to be careful during this period because mercury also rules the skin so there can be some kind of skin problems as well yes Ruiz. oh you have to take care of uh, these few things which akashi told and uh, i will like to tell you thank you very much from core of my heart again because every time i look after my family in just three months, we are 16,000 and growing more and more. Thank you very much for subscribing. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and be a part of our family. And you can also be a part of a live that we do on weekends, live birth chart analysis. That is for free. You can join there. But if you want a personal consultation, then you have to drop your details on hriestro channel at gmail.com or on the WhatsApp number displayed. Then team will contact you and further provide you with information and you will get a personal consultation with Akashi one on one. You can clear your doubts, anything you have. Okay, now the time for the Scorpio Ascendant people, what they will get on 21st of April from 15th of May. This is a period when Mercury is going to be retrograde. And in very, very, very crucial house, sixth house, people just, you know, scare of sixth house. So let's see what Akash guide us for this Scorpio people. Ji. Uh, Rohit Ji for Scorpio ascendant people. Here is the chart. Uh, uh, before we, before I even move forward, I would like to thank you from the core of my heart for subscription and for you have subscribed to our channel be a part of our family and may gain some kind of at least 1% knowledge. If that is also done, then our aim is very, very complete of giving good knowledge and good hopes to all the people. And make sure that you take out this illusion from your head that, uh, you know, planets do bad and mm. and one more thing before I move forward for Scorpio, and I have to tell you because I mm. You know Murarji Desai, who was the president, prime minister of India. Yes. So I was uh, KN sir was uh, explaining his chart, and okay. he told uh, when Indira Gandhi lost, he became the prime minister, and he was a very un unlikable man. No one used to like him. Not mm. even used to like him. But you know when he became uh, the pres the prime minister of India on the first day of his Sade Sati. So, Sade Sati is supposed to be very, very auspicious. Everyone is just making money on Sade Sati that Sade Sati, this will happen, that will happen, this will happen, that will happen. But it is supposed to be very, very auspicious, Rohit Ji. Sade Sati is the time when Saturn gives you full opportunity to do karma. No one is understanding that. Saturn will give you full opportunity to do karma so that your path, your later on your path is so, so beautiful that uh, no one, you are not looking back. So, Sade Sati has to be seen. And uh, another thing I learned, and Sade Sati is seen when moon, 
we have to check the degree of the moon and minus 45 and plus 45 degree from it that is how we get the exact date of sade sati like for example we say that for dhanu rashi or for makar rashi now sade sati has come for example so that sade sati starts on 19th of uh, so 17th of uh, jan this year for meena rashi right right so that means everyone who has me, uh, moon in the meen rashi will start happening getting sade sati but that sade sati is to be calculated not from 17th of jan it has to be subtracted 40, 45 degree has to be subtracted from uh, moon and added to saturn and see what the number comes and when that degree happens when that degree moon uh, saturn reaches in the chart from that day sade sati starts so everyone is under illusion that sade sati my sade sati has started so for example if uh, 12th house people sade sati has started it means that moon is at 3 degrees so their sade sati will not start on 17th of jan their sade sati will start around march 30th because saturn will have to take that much degree to get into uh, to add up the proper value to start sade sati and their sade sati will not end in uh, march of 2025 it will end in April or May end of twenty twenty five. Okay. Okay. Very important. Very important information. Thank you. We will make a separate video on this. How to count count your sare sati from when which date your sare sati is effective. Yes. Very interesting. Yes. So Rohiji, here uh, Mercury retrograde. I'm sorry, Scorpio ascendant people. I wasted a lot of your time by telling about this sare sati, but no, this was not wastage of time. This was just uh, you know accumulation of knowledge. to all of us but you know they must have come to just see their uh, and some people were checking oh yes. stop nonsense and tell us about our uh, <laughs> transit <laughs> it's okay everyone's karma is with them so here uh, rohit is uh, 21st of april till 15th of may mercury will be and from and in from bharni nakshatra it will be traveling backwards towards ashwini nakshatra on 8th of april it entered bharni nakshatra and on 21st april it will start getting retrograde and moving back to ashwini nakshatra on 8th of may it will be in ashwini nakshatra and uh, mercury will start moving forward in aries again it will start stop retrograde motion and start direct motion from 15th of so if that is clear that is why i have written it down very very clearly so that everyone understands that this is how it is supposed to be placed mm. now from here rohit ji um, very very um, fascinating thing about the sixth house enemies the illusion of enemies inside your mind now as i am saying illusion and everything you will think what the hell am i talking about and for that you need to go back and listen to the story of how what happened between ashwini kumaras and mercury buddha dev that what happened and how they ashwini nakshatra put buddha into illusion and then got him out it is just a 5 minute story you need to listen to that so that you understand that how your illusion will end so rohit many many important thing is that illusion related to enemies that this is my enemy this person has mm-hmm. done So no, you know we make enemies without any reason. Sometimes we don't even know. But if someone says that no, no, he was talking bad about you, and we make them enemies. Make so, them enemies. Yes, yes. That is going to be solved for you at this time. Enemies are going to be turning into friends. You will get a very very big revelation about your enemies that they never did anything wrong, and we just I or we just you know what uh, created this nonsense, and that is why we suffered. So here forgiving is very very much important. Secondly. debts so all those people who have this in, this in their mind that my debts are so big that i will never be able to pay it and i will we i will suicide or i will die or you know my health is never going to recover everything is going to be solved for you here okay. just imagine roji right, four four big planets mercury rahu jupiter sun all are here sun is supposed to be exalted here Jupiter is supposed to be very good friend of Ashwini Nakshatra, and again that story of Jupiter and Ashwini Nakshatra, where Jupiter was injured and Ashwini Nakshatra healed him. So he always said, "Whenever I come to your house, I will also heal other people." So that is the thing. Rahu again has a very big karmic debt with Ashwini Nakshatra. When its head was Swarna Bhanu was cut into half, that is time Ashwini Nakshatra did operation of Rahu and made him, um, you know, made his pain go away with lot of. um what you say medicines so here this is a house which is very very much active for you so you will find new sources of income you will find your enemies going away if you are going if you are working on a court case where you are right 
that you are 100% right that is also be going away for you so overall for 6th house beautiful beautiful transit and you're going to be uh, i just cannot ex- express myself that what kind of uh, uh, fun and what kind of experience you're going to get during this mercury retrograde period all the best all the best all the best to the scorpio ascendant people yes you rightly said and uh, i will thank you all again um for this uh, big grown family please join our acstro family if you are new to the video and you like this like this video and please share this video also so other people also can get benefit from this and if you are a personal consultation you are going to take admission somewhere you are going to start some business you are going to take some important decision but you are also in the illusion oh i have to do this or not then just drop your details on the acs2 channel at gmail.com or on the whatsapp number displayed akash you will give you a personal consultation video consultation and clear all your illusions that is very important thank you now moving on to the sagittarius ascendant people what they will get from 21st april onwards till 15th may then the illusion will happen when the retrogression of mercury will happen in the house of creativity fifth house let's see number one mantra for sagittarius ascendant people is do not be overconfident mm. don't think that you are very very overconfident creative and no one except you is there who will be able to uh, you know get into what you say who will be no one is better than me this is the illusion mm-hmm. you have to break and that mercury will break for you <laughs> those people who are pressurizing their kids those people who are giving a hard time to their kids those people who are always behind their kids that they will not be able to do anything they keep saying all the bad things about their kids this is the time when mercury this is the time when your kid will make your illusion go away and do something of such great importance that you will regret all the things which you have said in your life always here all the people who are connected to dharma or adharma adharmic people nastic people who say that there is no god nothing and all their illusion will break some miracle is going to happen which again one more beautiful thing which i want to say that miracles happen with people who are very adharmi like you know who mm-hmm. are not in the path of spirituality all the people who are in part of spirituality their life is a miracle at after all but yes they are into you know um what you say they are into this kind of zone where uh, uh, what you say we are into great illusion basically i actually forgot what i was saying i suddenly vanished my mind but okay i have to keep my phone aside i don't want to see it now it keeps on doing tuk 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 <laughs> so for sagittarius ascendant people mercury is going to be retrograde from 21st of april to 15th of april and uh, mercury retrogrades on 21st of april in aries from bharni nakshatra it starts traveling backwards to ashwini nakshatra and then it enters into ashwini nakshatra on 8th of may proji mercury after 15th of may starts moving forward and uh, as i was talking about illusion you need to go back everyone needs to go back to the beginning of my video and understand proji that what illusion was mercury into and how ashwini kumar made this trap and how mercury came out of this illusion and that mm. is the main role of mercury is to get you out of illusion that is why knowledge is very very important okay if there is no knowledge there is no everything is illusion if there is knowledge then everything is science or everything is practical now we see here four big planets are sitting jupiter saturn uh jupiter saturn rahu and sun <coughs> and this is the period when the fifth house is going to be enhanced the most those people who want to do startups those people who are doing mantra chanting those people who are getting into spiritual zone those people who have started something those who have started new job new education move to a new place everywhere you are going to get success during this period if okay. there is any kind of mindset in your head that i am supposed to do this or you know this will happen to me like i got a message in the morning today rohit you on whatsapp mm-hmm. that i am in lot of fear every time i try to sleep in the night or like 35 36 year old man 
Whenever I try to sleep and you know I am scared and I am this and that. Can you do Bhagla Mukhi Mata mantra or havan uh, for me? And I said no. We will not do anything. In fact, you do uh, Narsimha Stotram. Narsimha Dev Stotram. And that is the very very good way to get your anxiety and fear out of your body. Hmm. Once you listen to Narsimha Sotra, your blood pressure becomes high. You become start becoming so confident. I don't know mm. how, how it was written in so beautiful way. Very beautiful. And uh, one mantra I will also like to tell the people who are going through anxiety and not good sleep and they scare at night. That is uh, Lanka so coat smudar si khai Shri Ram Chandra ji ki chonki Hanuman ji ki dwai. Just recite this eleven times before you sleep, and uh, this will also help you. And Narsimha Sotra to. That's very good. Pious. So, Narsima, can... those who don't know, those who are watching from uh, foreign countries or with other languages, they should know Narsima is again an avatar, a reincarnation of Lord Vishnu. He had yes. a lion face and a human body. <coughs> so, yes. that is Narsima Dev. You can write lion Vishnu and search, and you will find the images of uh, Narsima Dev. Narsima Dev, yes, yes. Also, I forgot to thank all the Sagittarius Ascendant people. That thank you so much for subscribing and uh, liking us, and you know, giving so much love. This means a lot. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So for Sagittarius Ascendant, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva will work. Om Ganesha Namo will work as much as they can, and that is the very big important remedy for them. Number one is don't be overconfident. Second is recite these mantras. It will be a very blissful travel. Okay, mantra for Sagittarius is uh, don't be overconfident. Now it's time for the Capricorn ascendant people. But before that, I will like to thank all my family members of ACS True. Thank you very much to be part of this family and the people who are new to this video watching first time. You are just scrolling YouTube and get this video. Please be a part of our family. You can join us live or the free bar chart analysis on the weekends. But join our family. Be a part of our family. And the uh, people who want uh, personal consultation, detailed consultation, so many questions you have, just drop your details on the ACS2 channel at gmail.com or on the WhatsApp number. Team will contact you and further will give you the video consultation with Akash, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, the time for the Capricorn. The center stage is fourth house from 21st of April. Let's see what they have to take care of. Yes, Rohitji. For Capricorn people, here we go. Thank you so much, all the Capricorn people who have, um, you know, loved us and who have given us a lot of respect and lot of you have subscribed to our channel and right now you're listening to the video and subscribing as we say. Thank you so much. I would also like to know that if you have subscribed for the first time, you can write sub, uh, first time only subscribe down that subscribe so that I, we can know that who are our family members now and who all has joined us. Now Mercury here in the fourth house is going to be um, it's placed here right now and from 21st of April to 15th of May it will be in retrograde position because Mercury entered into Bharni Nakshatra on 8th of April and from 21st of April in Aries from Bharni Nakshatra it will start traveling backwards into Ashwini Nakshatra and there is a very big Vedic story about it which I have told in the beginning of the video so you have to watch the 5 minutes to understand how Mercury will get illusion out of your mind. Here Mercury will enter into Ashwini Nakshatra on 8th of May that is a very auspicious day that's why I have kept it bold. And Mercury starts moving forward in Aries on 15th of May. <coughs> Sorry. So now Rohiji, Mercury being, you know, um, retrograde in the fourth house, the house of inner peace, the house of domestic peace and happiness, the house of your home, the house of your uh, birthplace, the house of your mother, the house of Sukha, Sukha Stan. Vehicles, property. Vehicles, property, everything. Number one, the illusion which is in your mind that your mother does not care for you. Number one, that is going to go. You will realize that your mother is the most important person or the motherly figures in your life. Secondly, all the people who have illusion that my I cannot buy a house, how will I buy a house, how will I buy a car, it is not possible at all. No, You will get some kind of very good revelation which will make you realize that yes, it is possible. You can buy everything, you can do everything, you can get inner peace happiness you can be settled you can have a good house you can have a good car you can have a good 
family life you can also travel abroad you can travel to different places your career will be good this is what is going to happen when mercury becomes retrograde because all the negative thoughts which you are going through will suddenly turn into positive thought because mm-hmm. mercury is the planet of knowledge here it's very very important for you to start something new related to some kind of new activity in your life would you like reading like going out walking in the nature like swimming like gym any kind of new so that your inner peace you have a lot of me time you need to speak to yourself you need to talk to yourself because this is the period in this period you will find something deep within yourself nothing comes from outside everything will come from inside of your body so all the best for capricorn ascendant people for their travel for them going <coughs> abroad for them starting a new life there for their looking for a new girl getting settled getting married making lot of money getting the energy ready if they are going to sare sati that means a uh, difficult time they were going through now the times have changed started to change good in a good way so all the best for all the capricorn ascendant people thank you thank you akash ji i am being the capricorn i correlate these things uh, with all capricorn thank you and thank you to all of you the family member who do so beautiful comments you do the comments god bless you do the comments i love you do you do so many comments just from the inner heart because we don't treat you as subscriber you are family members thank you and if you are new to the channel you are watching video first time please be a part of our family join acs to channel subscribe us and the people who want personal consultations very easy just drop your details on the mail id or the whatsapp number displayed you will get a video consultation one on one with akash ji and you can clear all your doubts now the time for the aquarius ascendant people from 21st of april house is third it is being center stage what they will get what the precautions they have to take let's see yes which is for uh, sorry for aquarius ascendant people it is the third house but before i move forward i would like to thank everyone each and every one who have sub- subscribed to our channel and i would also re- request that if you have subscribed just write below subscribe so that we can thank you personally <coughs> we mostly comment every on every comment we try and we make sure that we reply and connect to our family members in a very positive way so that because uh, i think we have to be together lifelong so that is very very important hope that uh, you like our videos and all our stories now rohit for mercury mercury is going to be retrograde from 21st of april till 15th of may it is going to be retrograde in the third house the house of communication the pakka house of communication that also the energy of mercury is present in this house because this house is also the house of courage here mercury enters into bharni nakshatra on 8th of april on 8th of april it has already entered into bharni nakshatra and then it will retrograde on 21st of april in aries and from bharni nakshatra it will be traveling backwards into ashwini nakshatra now mercury enters ashwini nakshatra on 8th of may very auspicious day and mercury starts moving forward in aries on 15th of may and 8th of may onwards or before 8th of may and after 8th of may <coughs> between 21st april and 15th of may exactly if you want to be very precise there will be very great revelation about your about uh, some kind of illusion which is going to break for you that illusion be can be very in many many things which i will talk about but before that you need to go and listen to the story in the beginning that what is this illusion which mercury was into and how it was broken and it was in debt with ashwini kumaras and how ashwini kumaras blessed mercury and how shiva blessed mercury vishnu ji blessed mercury and mercury became the god of knowledge okay so what can destroy illusion is equal to knowledge there is no other definition of destruction of illusion is equal to knowledge <coughs> if you have knowledge that you will if you walk on fire your feet will burn you will never walk on fire but if you are under illusion that no nothing will happen just walk on it then your leg will burn so knowledge is very very important hmm. now here in the third house the first important thing is the illusion or is the uh, you know your mindset about your siblings younger siblings that they are of no use this and that and so many things is going to be make sure you is going to mercury is going to make sure that that goes out of your mind they will do something so miraculous that you will say wow i never expected them to do this secondly all the people who are doing lot of short distance journeys and thinking that it is the waste of time i am not happy in my third house is the house of satisfaction as well i am not happy in my workplace i am not happy 
<coughs> I'm not getting anything. I feel tired. I feel do not. I do not want to work. Such kind of thing. You will get such a good example in your life that maybe ten people we might be thrown out from the office, but you will not be, and you will then realize that you are so lucky, and mm. you you come out come out of the illusion that I was just doing. I was not happy this and that because if you have work, you have life. If you have no work, your life becomes stressed, and you start knocking the doors of astrologers. Please help! Please help! Mm. So you have will come out of such kind of illusion. Your courage will increase during this time. You will be able to take right decisions. You will be able to take decisions that will be more practical in nature rather than more illusionic. Mm. In so mm. overall, for Aquarius ascendant Roji, it is a good time. Uh, they should do little bit of. Uh, what you say because shani is needs rishti is here and it shani is in the first house they should do little bit of uh, aradhana or you know meditation about lord hanuman in okay. any way hanuman chalisa in bajrang daan in sankat mochan kavach any any way because that hanuman ji's energy should be present here so that we get lot of blessings during this mercury retrograde period Okay, we pray you get the lot of blessings and thanks for the blessings which you are giving us because you are joining our family AC Astro and we are now sixteen thousand above. Thank you very much. If you are new to the video, please join our family and be a family member of AC Astro channel. And if you want a personal consultation with Akashji, you think that uh, his think very differently, his study is very different, he tell very different things. You can take benefit of that. Just drop your details on the mail ID or the WhatsApp number given below. You will be contacted by team, and you get the video consultation with Akashji. Now, moving on to the concluding ascendant, Pisces ascendant. Let's see what they people will get from twenty first April onwards. Yes, Ruiji, for Pisces ascendant, ascendant, a second house is going to get active. Second house is the place where Mercury will become retrograde. It will become retrograde from twenty first of April till fifteenth of May. So on eighth of April. Mercury has already entered Bharni Nakshatra, and Mercury retrogrades from 21st of April. That means from Bharni Nakshatra, it will start moving backwards, going to Ashwini Nakshatra, and Ashwini Nakshatra will enter of 8th of May, and Mercury start will start again moving forward from 15th of May. So very very divine uh, movement, very very divine God's uh, way of uh, destroying illusion. If you see the uh, the story in the beginning that which I have said. and that is very important for pisces ascendant and everyone to understand because how mercury was in illusion and he came out of illusion and became the lord of wisdom the lord of not wisdom the lord of knowledge he has so much knowledge blessed by saraswati ma that is what mercury is now here roji ji <clears throat> if you see mercury uh mercury is going to be in the second house but before that i am going to thank everyone everyone from pisces ascendant that those who have subscribed today and those who have just hit the subscribe button and those who are subscribing right now as i say please write uh, like write below subscribe or we join uh, uh, like thank you for the family or say say something because we want to know everyone who is one and everyone that who are with us and we want to talk to you we want to be connected to you we want to help you in some of the way possible wherever we can because we do live uh, readings on weekends where we take free charts so i think you can take good use of that time and that is free means free we have there is no super chat there is no super sticker nothing no money involved there so if you come there and you participate there and something some good thing can happen to you you will be very very we will be very very lucky not you uh mercury uh, roji in the second house so illusion related and in terms of money that i have lot of money i am this i the word i will be destroyed from here second house is also the house of ego as the first house it is the house from where your assets and your money is there for you and you know that kind of thing brings a lot of ego in yourself that ego is going to go away you remember rahu is here jupiter is here sun is here uh, and um, mercury is also here so all four bigger planets in fact the niche drishti the the debilitated drishti of uh, saturn is also here so it is going to be a very very difficult time if you are into my me or i zone it has to be us and we zone because this is the house of family here it says that family life should be very very important and very very uh, you know uh, it has to be considered very well during this time and all the fixed assets also 
needs to be taken care of during this time don't get under the illusion that uh, if i invest this kind of thing it will become double or it will become triple that is the kind which will which can give you loss so no investment in stock markets during this period make sure there is no investments don't go into any kind of easy money processes during this period your also in in terms of your speech talk slowly talk after thinking you know because you will be under some kind of other impression and some pe other people might have want to hear something different which can create lot of trouble so hopefully for pisces ascendant also for our family for all our friends it becomes a very very positive transit and you enjoy to the fullest ji very positive uh, transit for all very positive retrogression for all thank you very much akash ji for your this wisdom your knowledge and your story and thank you to all of you for being a member of acs tro channel and please if you are new to the video please subscribe us be a member of our family and if you want a personal consultation where is it drop your details on the mail id or the whatsapp number given below you will be contacted by team and given consultation video consultation thank you thank you akash ji thank you very much and we will meet you in some live or some video which you are going through the research thank you for your knowledge thank you for sharing thank you rohit ji thank you everyone i thank hope you. that everyone has a blessful day jai shri ram jai shri ram jai hanuman jai mata jai mata ki om namah shivaya